And like you go to the gym first thing in the morning, it's really cold. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We're learning about that. Uh, <laughs> reads bones on the toilet. That was his yeah. friend. He has a very cold start. <laughs> <laughs> You've, very, you've been very, very good and agreed to do a little quiz with us. Yes. Uh, we like to test our authors, especially <laughs> on the books that they wrote. So um, I'm going to open up uh, this book to a random page and I'm going to ask you to tell me um, which page was the random page again? <laughs> um, and I'm going to quiz you on uh, some of the rules that are, uh, that are in the section on the bathroom. Okay, well this, I'll, I'll be honest with you, this is my... I reckon this is one of the top sections because this is the section that inspired the book. Because when I read Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life, I just went, mate, 12 Rules for Life, come on. I've got 12 rules just for the bathroom. Let's do it properly. <laughs> so I reckon, okay. I, I reckon I'm going to be good on this section. All right, so what, what do you think is the most important rule in the bathroom? Well, it's not the first rule of the bathroom, but I can tell you what rule number 19 is because rule number 19 is the most important bathroom rule. And the rule is FPC, flush, pause, check leave nothing behind when you go to the bathroom you got to think of yourself like an american soldier you leave no man on the battlefield you just clear everything out before you leave that bathroom all right here's, here's another question for you what, what should you not marinate in oh that's easy i think that's about rule 14 or something that's don't marinate in your own filth there are just nicer places to read like i really don't want <laughs> my book to be read in the bathroom. You can put up my rules in the bathroom, like the bathroom rules, you can laminate them and put them up in the bathroom, but please don't take my book into the bathroom and read it. Read it somewhere enjoyable, in the sun or lying on your bed, but don't sit in your own stink and read a book, it's disgusting. What if you're reading the ebook on the phone? Okay, well, there's a rule in there that says no phones on the toilet. But you're not as across my book as you know. No, I believe it is no phone calls on the toilet. No phones on the toilet either. Oh, and definitely no talking on the toilet. That's, That's a rule. One. I think yeah. it's 16. No talking on the toilet. And the best way to remember that one is really simple. Look how serious I've got. This was a fun interview. <laughs> the if your bum is open, your mouth should be closed. That's, that's the simplest way to think of it. So if you've opened your bum, shut your mouth, basically is what I'm saying. Because germs are flying around. You don't want to, if you open your mouth, bah, 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 germs are gonna go in there, aren't they? So just, no talking on the toilet. That's a great point. And don't read your, don't look at your phone on the toilet. I was asking that as a general question and I feel like I'm being directly judged. Well, it, yeah. was, it was a general question. Some people might do that. Well, I, I that feel that like you do it. I feel like, you know, you open that with, a friend of mine yeah. reads on the yeah. toilet. Yeah. A friend of mine might have read this book on the <laughs> toilet. Okay, so apart from uh, not taking your phone in, what else shouldn't you take into the toilet? You shouldn't take any what like well, food or beverages. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, don't take I, I can't believe I even have to say that. But that is something that needs to be said. I do remember being on a you know date with a guy and he walked into the bathroom with his cup of coffee. And I remember thinking, oh god, he's gonna come out of there in a second, he's gonna realise he's taking his coffee in there and he's gonna be terribly embarrassed. Well he didn't come out. He took the paper and the cup of coffee into the into the bathroom. And I wasn't there when he came out. I was gone. That was the end of that. That was the end of that relationship. That that was all that needed. No food or beverages in the toilet. Yeah. Uh, and no food scraps in the bathroom bin. Yes, that was the next rule I was going to ask you about. What is the bathroom bin? I told you I could recite this whole chapter. Here's one. What should you uh, not leave one of? Oh, don't leave one square of toilet paper on the roll. You know, some people, instead of, because they think, oh, if I if I just leave a little bit on the roll, then I don't have to change it. So they like go to great lengths to just kind of roll back and just, oh, God, just balance one square in there. Don't do that. You're breaking a rule. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously now another rule would be, you know, appreciate every square of toilet paper you have because we're suffering such a shortage at the moment. All right, we're almost there. Um, what should your, what must your bathroom have? I'll just be surprised if everyone is um, still watching at this point. Book <laughs> all about the bathroom. There's plenty of other sections. We just chose this section. Um, what should the bathroom have? A door. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's that's sort of a reaction to all those architects now who are building, you know, those very arty 
It's like, you know, you have a walk-in wardrobe now, people are doing walk-in en suites with no doors, or glass doors I've seen as well, glass windows through, no. My partner and I stayed in a hotel last year, and the partition between the main room and the bathroom was glass. And you couldn't Madness. see through, but you could see when the light was on, you could see the oh. person's silhouette. Uh, and it's just... How is that a romantic weekend? Yeah, it, it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We'll always have a door. All right, should we, should we ask one question about, about something else? Sure. Just to mix it up. Yeah. Um, uh, what would you like, movies? Oh, um, what about active wear? Active wear, okay. Yeah, which one of the rules is don't call it active wear. Um, <laughs> just call it like we're shopping here because that's what it is. Okay. Just shop, just. Um, what should you only buy? Oh, yeah, okay. Black leggings only, ladies. Black leggings only because the problem with all the other fun colours, like grey or whatever other colour, they all show sweat. And you've got no idea how much you sweat around the box and crack area, right, until you put on a pair of grey leggings. And the problem is, sweat in that area looks the same as we. So I don't know if you are sweating or if you've just gone too hard. You've blown a valve, you've worried pose too much, and whoosh go. So, black leggings only is the safest way. And for gentlemen, a courtesy short over the leggings is mandatory. Because the gym is not the place for men to discover where the circumstances are. That's a problem. Kitty, I think you know your book better than pretty much any other author who's come in and... and <laughs> I live and die by the rules. And even go. though, you know, it, it started out fun and got quite serious, Sarah, <laughs> I think you have some very convincing rules there. That, that we only covered about work. 15. Look how many anyway. there are that I didn't go through. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. And there's room in the back, as you mentioned, for you to write your own. So yes. add your own rules yeah. for life. So please. start adding your rules for life. Go on to booktopia.com.au right now and order a copy of Kitty Flanagan's fab award winning 488 Rules for Life. It was the most popular Australian book written last year according to you guys, so thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And Kitty, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, it's yeah. been a pleasure. Yay! That was amazing, loved it. Uh, though now I have a mental image of somebody on the toilet reading a book and eating twisty <laughs> It's the ultimate no-no. Again, I feel like a friend of mine might have read this book on it. <laughs> no, I don't want it to be a toilet. Sorry, book. okay. I that's... kept saying that to Alan Lama when I was writing a book, and I kept saying, it's not supposed to be a toilet book, and I don't quite... I'm not sure they knew what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, we just got another phone call from Kitty at 3am. <laughs> it's not a toilet book. It's not a toilet book. <laughs>